Tough surf and rip currents are expected along the coastline in the coming days from Hurricane Lee, even though the storms are not expected to hit our area. News 13's Gracie Fusco went to Spring Maid Pier and spoke with one of the lifeguards who's keeping people out of the water. Rip currents can be extremely dangerous and one lifeguard told me they put up double red flags, which means no one is allowed in the water following the rip current statement issued by the National Weather Service. Rip currents don't pull you under, they pull you out and are very fast, moving at speeds of up to 8 feet per second. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, a usual rip current ranges between 50 to 100 feet wide and can extend up to 300 feet from the shoreline. They can form at any beach, often during low tide, and can sweep away even the strongest swimmer. If you get caught in a rip current, do not panic. Remain calm, float with the current, and call for help. Rip currents can come out of nowhere and then the most dangerous thing. Um, one thing I tell people is to just be smart because you're not smarter than the ocean. Honestly, like the ocean is its own, it's its own place um, and it can be very dangerous very quickly. It just happens out of nowhere. In Myrtle Beach, lifeguards work April 1st through September 30th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. When not on duty, they advise people to swim at your own risk and stay waist deep in a place you can touch. According to News 13 meteorologist James Hopkins, the rip current risk will be high through Friday and slowly go away through the weekend. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Gracie Fusco, News 13.